Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today's topic is tying hands. I cover this in lesson 2.4 of Game Theory 101, The Complete Textbook. You can check the video description for more information about that. Remember that the study of subgame perfect equilibrium is really just the study of credible threats. And in particular, in this video, we're going to see how an actor might want to deliberately limit his possible future actions in order to improve his outcome. And to do this, we're going to look at the classic Burning Bridge story. So in this story, there are two countries that are at war with one another. There's an island in between these two countries, and both countries have a bridge that crosses over into that island. Now, this island isn't inherently valuable, and so the island isn't worth fighting a battle over. But all other things being equal, I'd rather have control over the island than not have control over the island. So we're going to start out this game by having Country 1 cross over the bridge into the island and decide whether to burn the bridge behind it or not burn the bridge behind it. So this is Country 1 here making that action. If Country 1 were to not burn the bridge, then Country 2 can either invade or concede. If Country 2 invades, then Country 1 can either fight or retreat back over its bridge because it didn't burn the bridge at the beginning. The country that is in control over the island at the end gets one if it didn't have to fight a battle for it, and the country that isn't in control gets zero. If the countries do have to fight a battle, though, then it's just bad for both of them, so it's going to be a negative one for both players in that case. If country one were to burn the bridge at the beginning of the game, then country two can either invade or concede. And notice that if country two is invading here, then country one has to fight. It doesn't have the bridge anymore. The bridge was burned at the beginning, so it can't retreat here. It has to fight if that's the case. Now, to solve this game, all we need to do is apply some simple backward induction. Let's start on the right side of the game tree here. So suppose that country 1 begins by not burning, and then country 2 invades. Well, country 1 can fight or retreat. If it fights, it gets negative 1. If it retreats, it gets 0. 0 is greater than negative 1, so that means if country 1 does not burn the bridge and country 2 invades, then it makes more sense for country 1 to retreat than fight a costly battle over the island. Now consider how this affects Country 2's decision here. So again, imagine Country 1 doesn't burn and Country 2 chooses between invading and conceding. Well, if Country 2 invades, it knows that Country 1 will retreat, which means Country 2 gets 1. And if Country 2 were to concede, it doesn't get control over the island, and so it gets 0. 1 is greater than 0, which means Country 2 will invade if Country 1 does not burn the bridge. So that's the outcome on this side of the game tree. Now we just switch over to the other side of the game tree. If Country 1 does burn the bridge, then Country 2, if it invades, has to fight a costly war, which is bad for it. It gets negative 1 to fight that battle over the island, whereas it gets 0 if it just concedes the island to Country 1. Since 0 is greater than negative 1, that means Country 2 will concede if Country 1 burns the bridge. And so the last thing we have to do is just check to see what Country 1 wants to do at the beginning of the game. It can either burn the bridge and get 1, or not burn the bridge and get 0. Well, because 1 is greater than 0, that means country 1 will want to burn the bridge at the beginning of the game. So essentially what's at work here is that country 1, by burning the bridge, makes its threat to fight over the island credible. If it doesn't burn the bridge, then it doesn't have a credible threat to fight over the island, because if country 2 were to invade, retreating is better than fighting. Remember this... This outcome over here, that was a negative one for country one. That's worse than if country one were to retreat in this case. So this threat to fight over the island is incredible, which makes country two want to invade in response to country one not burning the bridge. But when country one burns the bridge, it can't not fight. It has to fight if country two invades. And so as a result, that means country two doesn't want to invade because that's just gonna end up in this costly battle and therefore it's willing to concede the good to country one. And that means country one can actually gain control over the island by limiting its future actions. And the limiting of the future actions is what makes this threat inherently credible, whereas it's not credible if you don't burn the bridge. So that's the basic idea of tying hands, and in the next video we're going to talk about another way of, of talking about credible threats, and this topic is going to be called commitment problems, and I think commitment problems is actually the most interesting topic in all of game theory, so I hope you join me in the next video. See you then.